Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to the brand new video on Fortnite Battle Royale Season 4 and this one you are not going to want to miss. I've got some crazy news guys where Fortnite have been telling us that Galactus is coming since Season 9. That's right guys, since Season 9 Fortnite have been telling us and I'll explain exactly why in a moment as we get into the video. But before we get into it, don't forget to smash that subscribe guys. We're getting so close to 600,000 and Season 4 is just around the corner so make sure you got that notification bell turned on. And if you're not already supporting me in the item shop go over to your item shop right now consider entering in code postbox pat to support me for that season four battle pass thank you everyone considering to do that here are a few shout outs popping up all right so to start with the comic so the comic was updated today i'm not going to read through the comic it's just not my sort of thing to read through it and spoil everything that's going on in it however i will do a quick summary for you about what is going on in the comic so i've been covering it over the last few days and it looks like today two new pages have been added in and thor is having a battle with the fortnite characters and he starts to realize his memory a little bit which kind of explains like i said yesterday about potentially players or characters being muted and thor being a god actually gains access to his memory and realizes what is going on. So as Thor continues to battle the Fortnite Battle Royale characters, he then gains his speech back and actually looks to the sky and he sees that dread has swallowed the once bright horizon. Does that mean the sun has been swallowed? The moon has been swallowed? Could this potentially mean that next season could be all in the dark due to Galactus eating the sky? Or should I say the sun or the moon? And you can see here that Galactus Devourer of Worlds is coming. And there he is right there i don't know if it's just a reference to him coming through the rift but here he is you can see him right here and then thor does call for a sith which is a raven he sends these odin's ravens that can travel through time very very quickly back to asgard to summon for sith which is another daughter of asgard and a warrior which is absolutely awesome and then she will be here tomorrow and we'll be able to cover more about that in the comics but this is not the main point i want to look at i want to show you guys something which is a huge easter egg in my opinion and you're gonna have to give me your thoughts on this down below because i don't know 100 percent what to think on this but check this out guys so for those that actually played in season nine which wasn't too long ago have you ever looked in the top right of it so look at the top right who do we see right there is that galactus i don't know do you think it is comment down below right now do you think that is galactus or not to me that pretty much looks like galactus so does this mean that fortnite have planned all of this since season nine yes they have that clearly is galactus and even behind him you can see planets and even planets with kind of rings around them and all sorts of stuff so that is galactus in my opinion what else is that who else has had a skin with them sort of horns the only skin i could think of with these sort of horns would be the ice king but personally i feel like these are too evil and it looks too evil in my opinion to be the ice king but i could be wrong let me know in the comments what you think that has to be an early sketch of Galactus in Fortnite from obviously Jonesy's point of view. So I am very, very, very excited for this. This is insane to think that this has been a thing since the start of time. It's crazy. And what else is in this picture that we just haven't received yet? Who knows? I personally do think that this is Galactus. I don't know though. You guys will have to let me know in the comments if you believe that this is Galactus or not. So that easter egg is just insane but with that being said we have so much more news for you guys which i want to cover and the, the first piece of news i've got for you guys is all of the statuses on the website for the teasers have been updated so you can see it heralds alone won't save us technology alone won't save us rage alone won't save us justice alone won't save us gods or goddesses alone won't save us chaos alone won't save us description is it description no deception alone won't save us loyalty alone won't save us marvel so this is all coming from fortnite's website and this is really interesting because if we break this down a little bit further here is something coming from Sai. you can see he says that herald is thor technology potentially could be iron man rage is wolverine justice is spider-man goddess or god is lady sif chaos is dr doom deception is loki maybe loyalty is groot and we had a rumor that groot might be coming into the game and that is what we have all there so that is absolute awesome news does that mean that the entire battle pass could be potentially marvel themed i don't know i hope it is because that would be absolutely awesome i do think it'll tie into the storyline it's also 
almost confirmed now because I've done all mustard that we know that this will tie into the storyline. So generally, I do think this will all link in real nice. Then another piece coming in from Mikey, he actually broke down this, the nexus from different regions around the world. So we know that the words that Vaughn and I have been tweeting out the letters are spelling the word nexus. The word nexus relates to the zero point. I put this on my community poll to ask you guys what you guys think, and you agreed with me that the nexus was the zero point. However, reading through this a little bit more in a bit more detail, we can see that the word nexus in English means different things around the world, and it's spelling out different things. So in the French teaser, we can see that it's spelling out conflict. Hmm, that's really strange. Then in the Brazilian teaser, we can see it's spelling out war. And in the Turkish te teaser, we can also see it spelling out center. Now, center and nexus work quite well. As we know, Loot Lake was the center of everything. And conflict and war work quite well as well, because we've got the conflict potentially between the Fortnite characters and the Marvel characters and Galactus himself. So a big, huge conflict going on right there. So definitely some interesting stuff that everybody should keep on their minds about that, because that is a big point I've just made right there on how this is all gonna turn out and relate to the zero point. Now, linking back to the zero point, the zero point is a point in time where everything is at zero. And we've talked about this so many times, they all want to harvest the power of the nexus slash zero point to be able to control time, to be able to control places and control these different universes. And this even reaches outside of this into the simulation. We don't know how these things correlate at all. Is the zero point part of the simulation? Is chapter two an entire simulation of chapter one? What's going on with this? We don't know the correlation between the zero point yet and the real world. If Even if it is the real world, we don't know what happened during that device event. We're still waiting for answers for that. But it is definitely exciting to keep them two things in mind. We've got the zero point remaking its appearance now. And we've also got the untold story of the device event. So exciting stuff for the whole community right there. And She-Hulk, for those wondering, this is also rumored to come in into the battle pass. I'm not too sure if it will, but I have a feeling from what we've heard all over the internet and what you guys have been telling me, She-Hulk possibly could be coming into the battle pass. It's all going to be Marvel comic characters, which it's kind of weird to see Fortnite linking the MCU, so the movie Marvel stuff, with the comic Marvel series. I really personally didn't expect that, and I wouldn't really expect that at this sort of level. But it looks like Fortnite are really putting a lot of thought into linking all these things together, having the Marvel Universe separate from the Marvel Comic Universe, because we've got an entire season based around the comics. I personally, like I said a few videos ago, I'm not a fan of reading comics. I don't think they flow very well as like a book or a film or a story. They are cool. They're just like short versions of it. And I don't really like, the, I'm going to be honest, I don't like the font they use in comics. I find it a little bit muddling with my eyes. It makes them kind of read the words like six or seven times. But that's my personal opinion. I do used to read comics, but it was mainly Simpsons comics. I think it's because I've never been brought up on comics because in the UK, comics just weren't a thing when I was a kid. They just weren't around where I lived. So you couldn't actually cop any comics at all. So I was just never brought up on them. But obviously, if I lived in the US, I think I would definitely uh, have read a good few comics, especially the Marvel or DC comics. But I never actually got around to it. But I love the way they're doing this with the comic teasers. And I do hope the comic books do continue throughout the next season where we can kind of gather them and read them in game. And it'll be like storyline stuff and we can break them down. Because it's a great way of telling a story. And one thing I really want Fortnite to do as well is actually publish this comic. So you'll be able to buy it. Maybe they'll even publish the season as a comic and you'll be able to physically buy a copy of it. I think that would be absolutely awesome. And I'm sure so many people would want to cop something like that as like a souvenir for the season. But that's going to be it for today's video. It's only been a short one. I've just covered you guys all on Easter eggs. But wow, that Easter egg we covered early on about Galactus in season nine is crazy. If you've made it right to the very end of the video, comment down below, Jonesy x9 and that'll let me know if you made it right to the end and if people see you comment don't tell them why you've commented it i know i saw a few people in the last video telling them why they commented it keep it a secret guys it's our secret and you're a true fan for making it right to the end thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in future content and once again this is postbox pat signing out